to another Form Titan video. In this video, I'll show you how to group your Salesforce data in a table using group by functionality. So the use case here is pretty simple. I've got all my opportunities here. There are 40 of them and they have different stages. Qualification, close one, ID decision makers, perception analysis, uh, value proposition, prospecting, closed one. And what I want to do is I want to bring all these opportunities in a table, but I want to group them by their own specific stage. So I can see that um, 30,000 feet view um, without having to you know, refine them and look, look at them stage by stage. So how do we do that? All right, well, you can do that in a table now. So let's say I get a table here like this. Make it just a bit wider again. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and say, show me 100 rows per page. And I'll bring back opportunity name, opportunity stage, and then opportunity amount. So these are the fields I'm going to bring back. Next, I'll go ahead and map my fields. Add object. <coughs> We're going to bring back from opportunity. All opportunities. We'll say execute on form load and we'll bring back all. Next, it's just simply mapping the data. So name will go here stage will go here and the amount will go here and then simply apply and finish now if I save this and preview it's brought back my opportunities brought back the first 20 opportunities by default that's what table does now what I would like you to focus on is a group by functionality so you're going to click click on your table go to advanced and check something called allow group by. If you check that, this option will appear. Now you can choose which field you want to group by. I'm going to choose stage. And then if I click save and then I refresh this, look at that. All my stage are there now and everything is grouped by. So if I expand it using this button, look at that. I can see all my opportunities per group of a uh, stage that I have. So there you go. Look at that. Very, very cool functionality. So I can see that all my closed one. And then I can see all my um, closed one needed needs analysis, perception analysis, prospecting, qualification. Amazing. All of that's available in here. So this is a really good functionality, but there's something I want you to be mindful of that when you bring the data back, by default, it's only going to bring the first 20, okay? So it may be that you've clicked all in the get, but it's only bringing the first 20 back. That's a normal behavior. So in order for you to bring all the data back, you need to go in here, click edit, condition, and type 1000, okay? Because that's the limit. And if you type 1000 now, click save. And then if I refresh, remember there were 20. Now look at that, it's brought back all my 40 opportunities. There are the, um, the relevant stages. And if I click this, it will expand all the opportunity and all the grouping is done for you. So grouped by a specific stage. And then you can see each one, which opportunities are under which specific stage. So really, really cool functionality because you can now group your data like this and see them as per stage in your table all right and this is how it's done so remember to group by you will click on the table go to advanced and then check group by you will select your field and that's it you're good to go and obviously if you only see the 20 uh, first 20 records, that's because you haven't specified the limit here. So you need to set this to 1000 and we'll bring back everybody. And this is how it's done.